A Jacksonville agency aiming to help kids in crisis is now facing a crisis of its own. A shakeup at the top is happening at the Kids Hope Alliance after a bombshell memo was leaked Wednesday, and that memo was written by uh, agency CEO Joe Peppers. He is claiming he was pressured by the mayor's office to award some $350,000 in grants to certain hand-picked nonprofits. The day after that story appeared, Peppers was placed on administrative leave by the mayor's office. On your side, Sam Schindler sat down with reporter Chris Hong with our news partner, the Florida Times Union, who broke both of those stories. We're hearing reports of a possible shooting. It was a weekend bookended by violence. Get out, get out, get out. A triple shooting at a Reigns High School football game followed two days later by a mass shooting at the Jacksonville Landing. One violent crime in our city is one too many. As city officials scrambled for solutions, they came up with the idea of giving micro grants to small local nonprofits. Some 35 agencies could bid for grants capped at $10,000 a piece to be awarded by the Kids Hope Alliance. That was about challenging and disrupting the status quo. But in a leaked memo from last September, the agency's CEO said he felt pressured by the mayor's two highest ranking officials to give those grants to certain favored nonprofits. What was alleged in the memo seemed to, like a crime. Chris Hong, the reporter who broke the story, says if true, the allegations would violate city policy and the law. To interfere with a uh, competitive bidding process to steer grants towards a predetermined uh, group of applicants, which is a huge problem if that happened. The two officials Pepper says pressured him, Brian Hughes and the recently retired Sam Musa, both deny his version of events. Point blank, they just said it never happened. Both issued statements saying Pepper's memo is not factual. The day after the story broke, Pepper himself was placed on administrative leave. A mayor's office spokesperson says he's the subject of an ongoing investigation by the Office of Inspector General, but could provide no additional details. Hong says there are still many unanswered questions, but he is continuing to report and expects more big news in the days ahead. Stay tuned. Ann Schindler, First Coast <laughs> News, on your side. And this story continues to evolve. Yesterday, the Duval County Democratic Party called for an independent investigation into the mayor's office. And today, Pepper's replacement was named. Chief Operating Officer Donnie Horner will serve as temporary acting director of the Kids Hope Alliance.